who we send a DMCA takedown notice, either this email or the one below it. Bad bees. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another Bad Bees episode. Today we are talking again about security. It's a problem that's been rising, it's people stealing other people's content, how you can approach this and what you should do. Now, firstly, you need to be tactical with your watermarking. Most of the time, watermark everything. I've already done a security episode, right? And I've already done an episode on scams. Okay, uh, in regards to e whoring verification scams, this is where it applies. Okay, people will steal your content by pretending to be you. And if you don't watermark your content because you want to get onto certain subreddits, do it and then delete it straight after. But you do put yourself at risk of your content being stolen. Now, there are sites like Rutler, uh, Cam, uh, Cam's for not sure the name right now i will leave them in the description box below these are services where you pay a weekly or monthly fee and they basically scour the internet depending on your management uh depending on your membership fee i have a daily hourly weekly basically they scour the internet for any pictures of you or any of your content and they get it taken down if you have the money and you're making enough money for these you should probably invest in these just for the peace of mind and for ease of use okay if you're a new creator starting out and you're not making that much money you might want to take stuff into your own hands right so in this video i'm going to show you how okay basically quick just really quickly copyright laws across the globe are different today we are only going to be addressing the two which i think are pertinent that is the uk eu uh, laws that come from the e-commerce directive. I'm not sure if that's changed for the UK now Brexit has happened But that's what we're gonna go along with in this video because even if slight things may have changed They still get the idea that you are gonna take this legally forward um, and For the US of course is the DMCA takedown Basically how both of these work is you are going to the site that your content is on and then you're finding the server, which is, think of it as a big house, and in that house, there's a room, okay? That room is the website, the house is the server. You're going to knock on the door of the house and say, listen, something bad is happening in that room. And so the burden is on them to take the stuff down. So usually if you just contact the site, it may take a little longer. If you contact the server, just to be, double on your job i mean it is your content then they may do it faster and push the site through it faster right first we'll go through social media your main social media ones then we'll go through only fans itself and finally we will do other sites that you may come across firstly for social media they make it very easy the big ones make it very easy so here you've got tiktok here you've got instagram here you've got reddit here you've got twitter and here you've got google search basically what they do is they've created automatic forms i'll leave the links in the description box below for which you should bookmark anytime you see your content report it via this method they usually ask for urls and descriptions stuff like that so make sure you can back it up but then it should quickly be removed and that's basically social media nice and fast second for only fans right so without a doubt you should open a ticket with support okay and only fans support are notoriously slow at the minute because of all the sort of growth growing pains that they're experiencing so their support is overwhelmed right so support do a support ticket but if you just don't feel good sitting around twiddling your farms, what you can also do is this is the Amazon one web server that comes up when we search for it online via sites that I'll list later. So that's located in America. So we know if it's in America, they are liable for DMCA takedown notices. Cool. 
So what do we do? We send a DMCA takedown notice, either this email or the one below it. I'll leave these in the description box as well. Um, and I'll leave the template for the DMCA as well. So Amazon itself has certain rules. They don't, they don't open attachments. The Amazon Web Service. So you don't need to provide attachments. You just need to give descriptions and URLs. And as long as you follow the template, you should be sweet if you're the copyright owner. Okay. So you'll send that. They'll send you an automated email automatically. And hopefully from there, it'll be taken down faster. Finally, the third thing. If you're just worried about your own content, what you need to do is you need to Search your username in Google, use something like TinEye or ImgOps to find out whether your content or find sort of the crawl. So using TinEye and ImgOps and stuff like that is a reverse image search. So they have a look at where your images have come up in other places online. So you do that and you see everyone that basically every site that has posted your stuff and then when you get to the site right go on to once you get a site go on to one of these sites so let's just say Go onto a site like Code in WP, uh, who is hosting this website. So, for example, you type in something to find out the web server that is hosting it. Okay, we'll do a little search, and once you find a web server, what you need to then do is go onto that web server's page or the site itself page find out who is the legal contact who is the abuse contact sometimes or the copyright agent or agent legal abuse look for these terms control f find try and find it in either the terms and conditions or the privacy settings once you've found an email what you can then do is use dependent upon where it is use either the template listed below for DMCA or the template listed below for copyright. Just to repeat, try and get screenshots, get the URLs beforehand and get the description. You have to make certain pledges, etc. It's all in the templates below. Copy and paste that, send it to them and hopefully they act as fast as they can to take the content down. Um, so this is just a, a way you can sort of do it yourself really in regards to places that your copyright work might pop up on Reddit, on OnlyFans or on other sites. Hopefully this has been helpful. In terms of going forward with legal action for that, you're going to have to speak to a copyright lawyer. I don't know anything about that. She says you should speak to a copyright lawyer as well. All right, take care. Peace.